everyone how are you doing and uh, uh last week's video i forgot to tell us happy new month so uh happy new month because it's just the second video the second uh, friday of the week right is it the second friday or the first friday <laughs> Okay, whichever Friday it is, happy new month and uh, how is the month of May taking all of us? Thank you so much for watching my content, sharing it, liking it, interacting with me on the comment section. I truly appreciate it and um, it's the growth for me, eh? Baby, it's the growth for me. It's the growth for me. <laughs> so I love you so much and I truly appreciate every time you engage, watch and interact with my videos. This video i was actually supposed to do it last week but then uh, uh i decided to postpone it to this week so this is a very special video it's a video from uh, one of my followers who actually had uh, asked for my email address and uh wanted to know a little bit of things about uh concerning hiv and uh i get to answer their questions so if also you have a question and you want a personalized answer from me then this is your chance it is your time to shine <laughs> okay so you can always uh, drop me an email and if you want me to share it with the rest of uh, my followers I'll definitely do so but if you do not want I am okay with that also it's very confidential so your identity is not exposed so uh, I received this email from this young man and I'll read the email and you will see the screenshot uh, a few weeks back, uh, I think two weeks ago. And uh, I also did a little bit of a survey on my social media handles that is on my Instagram, Twitter and uh, Facebook. And I wanted to know because his issue is would he or should he tell his in-laws that his partner is living with hiv so if you have reached this point of the video that is the question that is the million dollar question would you tell your in-laws that you are living that your partner is living with hiv do you think it's a wise idea do you think your in-laws should know about it that is uh the question that we are asking today so let me read you his email uh, hello, Doreen. I'm in my early, I'm, an, uh, I'm a young man in my early thirties, currently dating someone who is HIV positive. I have followed your story the best I can on YouTube. You are very informative and have given me a different view on HIV. As from a traditional African background myself, the taboo around HIV does have does have negative impact around those living with HIV. I have a few questions I hope you could help with listed below. So question one is how would you tackle the issue of marriage? In my cultural tradition, both families disclose the individual's full background. And as you know, it is not easy to keep the cat in the bag. And about such an issue, especially in a traditional African uh, ceremony. Ceremony, society, ceremony. <laughs> uh, number two, my partner has mood swings. Uh, she doesn't notice them how do you go about such things when you are having a mood swing or did someone bring it to your attention that your behavior or mind state is swaying from left to right <laughs> okay well uh -huh. number three i saw your video on weight gain uh i had done uh, if you remember the video i did on my air visa making me fat uh was very eye-opening uh, as for my partner, it seems to be going the opposite direction. How does one maintain a diet that is affordable but as well nutrient enriching? Uh, some side effects of the meds she takes are the are the laws of her appetite. I'm fully aware you are not a nutrition specialist. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, but my question is more directed towards what is what motivating factors can help someone with appetite uh who has lots of, of appetite sorry so as to eat and uh, i hope to hear from you i do hope you have a segment on questions on your channel in the near future where you can answer some of your subscribers questions thank you for giving me your email uh you may use your email you may use this email in your channel but please hide my id so 
I probably should introduce the a segment where I get to answer you guys all of your questions. And uh, here is part of uh, uh, from the feedback that I got, and uh, you 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 see the screenshots uh, that on people's reactions. A lot of the mood of the people is you should not tell your um, in-laws about your partner's HIV status because we still are in an era of stigma in 2021. We still have people who are misinformed about HIV. And so you can't just go about and tell the other person, hey, you know, uh, my partner is living with HIV because another person has come to me in my inbox asking about the same exact question. The problem now is, is that she had a fight with her husband and her husband told her in-laws, the husband is HIV negative, the woman is HIV positive, but the husband fought with the wife, went and told the in-laws, and now the in-laws are giving her a cold shoulder. So one of the concerns that came up was a lot of the in-laws might have the view that your agenda is to kill their sons. Kill. I have put quill, kill in quotes because it's not going to happen, but they think like that. Uh, two, I personally now addressing this email, and my answer to this email, apart from what my followers on social media think, uh, you, it is important to disclose the other person's background. But I do not think that it is important to disclose their HIV status because you are not supposed to disclose one's HIV status to other, a third party who is not a medic for the purposes of disclosure and knowing the other person's background, I actually feel like it will end up stigmatizing this person the more. Because probably, you know, living with HIV is like a full-time job. You have to keep adjusting and readjusting each and every other day. So I feel like you should leave the the, the in-laws out of this. Leave, leave your parents out of this one, okay? Let it be you and her type of thing. Mm, the mood swings part. I am not sure if I have mood swings because I have, I don't know, I get angry, yes, from time to time. Uh, I get uh, dissatisfied. I am not sure if I can call them mood swings. But uh, if she has mood swings and you have experienced them, then probably try and uh, get her a professional counselor who can be able to know why the mood swings are coming up. Is it because I don't know if it's a side effect of ARVs or of, or of living with HIV. I, I, am, I can't really say that because I'm not a psychologist, but I will advise that you seek counseling, professional help from a professional trained counselor to know if there is probably another underlying uh, mental health issue, okay? Uh, number three is uh, how to gain weight or how to increase your appetite. One, the warm. Uh, I remember when we used to go to hospital the first, first times, we used to be given the warming pills uh, from time to time. And then I don't know what happened, but at that time we used to, and we also used to be given multivitamin. So let her de warm first. And then number two, let her uh, take a lot of, uh, buy her multivitamins include the fruits and vegetables a lot of them in her diet and also ensure you can add things like protein shakes the milk um uh what is it called peanut butter and banana that one i, I hear it boosts weight like this so yeah <laughs> you can try that so and uh thank you so much for all of these questions so you can try what i've said and you can also look at my previous videos the one i did on what i eat and the one i did on how to boost your immune system because both of them have some sort of nutrition aspect in them so up to this moment i hope you enjoyed this video and if you reach this very end thank you so much and uh, subscribe if you want more of this such kind of content please let me know and if you have a question kindly drop it on my email and I'll get to feature it on my youtube channel thank you so much see you next week do not forget to subscribe bye bye